Toyota SO5. I'm Joe Lalla and it's got a million k's on the motor. I've had it for 40 years. It's 42 years old this car. And it's my car since I was 17 years old. One thing about the motor, the motors are very strong. So the ability has always been there. Still the stock standard gearbox. Still the same diff, same motor. All these years, still going strong. I gave it a 40 mil drop on the car. Okay. Uh, I put a little scoop in the front, a little spoiler. Still the old days, still got a louvre in the back, which you don't see anymore. And uh, I just modified the, the front the front bonnet and I put a set of side drafts in a wild cam. In a wild cam you can put into the motor without even opening the head. It's a nice thing about these, these motors. This is my baby that I've had for many years. And uh, I always said to my wife, if I die one day you're going to have to make a big hole in the ground and bury me in the coffin inside the car. So, I'm hoping that it always stays this way and I can always have enough space to keep her going. But uh, like I said, the so far magic car, beautiful car, first five speed that came out with these old Toyota in this country. And uh, I'm very happy with it. So why do you hold on to the car? You know what it is, I've had this car, it's, it's always been at home, you know what it yeah. is. So why this car? You know what this, when this came out, everybody wanted this car. This was like the, everybody wanted the SR5. It was like the, it was the, between us youngsters, we all wanted one. And then they had the, the silver, the silver wolf and the golden hawk. That's the one, the, the two that came out with all the, it had the, the, the silver stickers on, the silver wolf pictures on. It was just the same model as this. This is actually, this is a late 79. Okay, so this really came with a full version, the same as the, the Silver Hawk and the, and the uh, I mean the Silver Fox and the Golden Hawk. So it came all together already, came the same setup, came with a straight dash. Because once before that, came with a kink in the dash. You see, if you see the SR5, it's a 75 to about 78, it's got a kink in the dash. Yeah. This one's got a straight dash. Then, yeah. you know, it's a late 79 or 80 model. So and this was my working car, it's my day-to-day -day car. With the, with the Webers on it? Yeah, exactly as it is, it's been like that. But those days petrol was cheaper, you know, yeah, and yeah. the nice thing, I could claim petrol, so it was yeah. alright, I was, hey, yeah. But you'd have to keep, keep tuning them, wouldn't you? Yeah. You know, the guy had a tune quite I had, I had a very good mechanic, Sam, he's, he's really passed, he's in the, and he always, every weekend I go there, I said, Mr. Jodeo, I needed to tune these cops. He says, yeah, you always, every weekend I go on a racing, come back, tune again, every weekend I'm there. So. <laughs> and other than the cam, you've never done anything to the engine? No, no, just a cam and side drafts, that's all. And I put, of course, put a free flow pipe just to get a bit more better. So it's the internals are the same as they came out of the Internals, exactly. And it's a million Ks now. A million Ks. If you can open the motor, you'll see. It's as it is. <laughs> Does it use oil? No. It's amazing, huh? Look underneath. I mean, you can see. Yeah. There's not a drop of oil. Go yeah. check. Yeah. You can see it. Not a drop. Okay, the diff leaks a little bit of oil. Yeah. But that, that diff has been humming for I don't know how many years. But yeah, it also had a hard life, too. <laughs> <laughs> so that diff is like, still a regional diff. Regional gearbox, regional draft train. Everything's the same, you know. You've done long trips in this car? Yes, yes, many, many, many. This was, I, st I mean, I was two years in the army. This went down to Bluefontein. At least once a month was down, up and down. Mm. We should get past up and down. I mean, Zerist. Oh, this car went to Zerist many, many times. Cape Town, been about four times. Durban, I don't know how many times, I'll be honest, because this was like, you know, those days, you're 20, 21. What are you doing this weekend? Oh, let's go down to Durban. Let's go, let's go, <laughs> let's go down for a beer. Friday night, we fill up, yeah, we go. Get there, so we put sleeping bags on the, on the beach, sleep on the beach, make a fire there. Next morning at breakfast, we come up. That's how it was our job. We used to do that often. So this basically is, is this car is your part of your life, huh? Yeah, she's my baby. She's yeah. my old girl. I even said to the wife, one day you give me shit, you go, she stays. She, does, she always goes with me. <laughs> <laughs> and the brakes on these cars are not the best, I'll sure. be honest with you. They're it's not the best. But handling, I yeah. tell you what, I've heard, I don't know, this a lot of guys say, the SR5 was one of the best handling cars came out tonight time. This car could handle better than any other car. Bring a Ford, bring a, a bring an Alpha, around the bends, this car yeah. could sit.